In this video we're going to do some basic questions on speed, distance and time. When you're doing these particular questions this triangle might help. If we look at it we've got S, D and T. So let's say we wanted to find the distance. All we would do is cover the D and we could see that distance is equal to speed multiplied by time. So you might already know this, if not we can simply write that distance is going to be equal to the speed multiplied by time. Remember to put the correct units in. If we're dealing with a distance, it might be miles, meters, kilometers, or centimeters. If we wanted to now look at speed, what we would do is cover up the S, and it would be distance divided by time. So this line here is a line for division. So we can say that speed is going to be equal to the distance divided by the time. So speed is equal to distance divided by time. If we wanted to find the time, we would cover the T, and that would be D divided by S, so it would be distance over speed. So we can simply write that time is equal to distance divided by the speed. So all we're doing is using this little triangle to help us out. If you remember these that's perfectly fine and probably more convenient to use but if not you can use this triangle. Generally speaking it won't though be given in an exam formula book. So let's just go over that. If I want distance I cover distance and it's speed multiplied by time. If I want now the speed I cover the s and it's distance divided by time. If I want the time, I cover the T, and it's distance divided by speed. So let's go ahead and answer some very basic questions. So John bikes at 10 miles an hour for six hours. We're asked to find the distance he covers. So it says, what distance does he cover? So I'm looking for the distance. So I cover the D, and I know that that's speed multiplied by time. So my speed is 10 multiplied by my time, which is going to be 6. That gives me 60. It says here, don't forget the units. We need to consider the units here. This is miles per hour and this is hours. So what we're going to get then, the distance covered, is going to be 60 miles. If we look at the next one, it takes Jenny three hours to travel 180 miles. We need to find her average speed. The average speed is the speed here. We cover that and we see that it's distance divided by time. So the distance is 180 miles and the time is 3 hours. 180 divided by 3 is going to give us now 60. So if we look at this here, what is the average speed? We're working with speed. We've got miles and hours, so we can say it's 60 miles per hour. On the next one, Fred walks 10 kilometers at an average speed of 4 kilometers an hour. So 4 kilometers per hour, kph. How long does it take him to complete the 10 kilometers? How long is time? So all I'm going to do is cover time, and time is distance divided by speed. So if we look at the distance, the distance is 10, the speed is 4, 10 divided by 4 is 2.5. We've got kilometers and kilometers per hour. So again, these are the correct units and we're looking out how long it takes him to complete it. So this is going to be 2.5 and that's hours. This one here, Peter drives home from work. The 30 mile journey takes 45 minutes. What was his average speed? It tells me to be careful here. Generally speaking, we will give our answer in miles per hour. But if we look here, we've got 45 minutes. So if we want speed, we're doing distance divided by time. The distance is 30 divided by the time. Students often write here 45. This is 45 minutes, which is three quarters of an hour. Remember, we're going to give our answer in miles per hour. If I do 30 divided by 3 quarters, I get 40. We're looking for the speed, and we've got miles and now hours, so we say that this is 40 miles per hour. 
Okay, just be careful with that one. You could, of course, give it in minutes, um, but generally speaking, we would give it in miles per hour. How long will it take to cover 180 meters if someone is walking at six meters per second? So this one here is going to be now in meters and we've got meters per second. So this is a how long. So what we want here is the time. So how long we've got now a distance of 180 and we divide that now by six. Distance is 180, speed is six. So that's going to be 180 over six, which is going to be 30. This is in seconds, so it'll be 30 seconds. If we look at the next one, Sue needs to drive to her friends. She can average 50 miles an hour for the journey, uh, sorry, average 50 miles an hour, and the journey is 150 miles. She needs to be at her friends for 10 a.m. What time should she leave home? So what we're looking for is the time of the journey. Time is distance divided by speed. So the distance is 150, the speed is 50, and that is gonna give three. We're working with miles and miles per hour, so this is gonna be three hours. Let's go ahead now and answer the question. We've done the maths, so if she needs to be at her friends for 10 a.m., she needs to leave at 7 a.m. If we consider three hours off 10 a.m. is 7 a.m. Let's look at the last one. Jimmy gets on a train. It travels from town A to town B, which is 120 kilometers. The train sets out at 1316 and arrives at 1616. What was the average speed of the train? So we're looking for speed. Speed is distance divided by time. We know that the distance is 120 kilometers. The time taken is the difference between these two values. If you like, this is 1.16 p.m. and this is now 4.16 p.m. So that is going to be three hours. 120 divided by three hours is going to give me 40. We're dealing with kilometers and we're dealing with hours. So it'll be 40 kilometers per hour. And we have our answer. So all we needed to do was just convert that one or just work out the difference between these two times and go ahead and divide. So there are some very basic questions on speed, distance and time using the triangle. Always remember the correct units. So if we just go through this, the distance, the first one, is in miles. Speed is in miles per hour. We've got now the walking done in hours. That's the time. This one here for speed is in miles per hour. We've got this one in seconds. This one is going to be in hours. And this one is going to be in kilometers per hour. There are obviously hard examples. This video though is a basic introduction to using the triangle to work out those calculations.